Good morning, everyone. I think it's morning. Yeah. Whoa, jeez. Hey Deb, hey everyone, good morning. Checking <laughs> checking in from the road and pardon the way I look because I'm tired. Um, but just checking in, let you know the drive is going very well. We aren't stinky yet, that's a plus. Uh, let me turn you around. Um, I did get a couple questions that I can answer once I figure out how to turn this around. <laughs> That's Mouser, the Savannah cat. He's been a very great traveler. While we're moving, he lays under his bed. And while we're stopped, he just meows and likes to eat snacks. He's been a really good eater on the road. And then down here is the young one. That's Filmo. He also likes to hide under his bed as well. And I did get a couple questions. So I'm showing you the layout of this van. Um, one was, uh, do they have litter boxes in their cages? No, they do not. Uh, what we do have, and I will do it with him because he's nice. Um, the one underneath is not super friendly. So they all have um, the, one of these skip beds in here, or bed, we call them skip beds. And then you can see coming out here in the corner, you little goofball. No, you silly boy. Um, is alfalfa. Um, instead of we use that instead of hay because there's a couple of us that have allergies in this vehicle, so we didn't want to kill ourselves with cats and hay. Um, so if they go to the bathroom, they're going to the bathroom right into there and there's enough to absorb it. So far we don't smell anything, which is fine. If you see his water looks a little dirty, it's only because the alfalfa got into the water but that's no worries because alfalfa is edible oh what do you see what do you see I'll get a little closer but he's not the friendliest cat yeah I see you I see you and then I got a question about um, oh about the tarps so um, we did a rental van they are not okay with transporting wild animals in it. So they don't know that we're transporting wild animals in it. Um, so we covered all the seats really well and then bungeed them, um, bungeed the tarp to the seats and all the cages are sitting on the tarp. All right, let's, they all like to seem to look outside. They are very nosy. Very nosy. I'm just gonna shut this door. You're all right. You're so stinking cute. We like to make the biscuits. We like to make the biscuits. All right, side door. Let me just kind of crack this. We don't want to create a lot of attention. We already get attention with the sign that we um, actually have to have posted on the vehicle. Uh, skews our traveling mess. I'm gonna be a little cautious with this one. She is a, is a sassy lady. <laughs> this is Tom Tom. She's the oldest. She I think is 19 years old. She's got a little mat on her forehead, so that's what you see sticking up. We're just calling it bedhead. She is all bobcat. That's for sure. Hang on, sweet pea. I know. And then, if you look down here, oh, he's looking out the side. Hey, hey, kid. This is Shiloh. He's like, the, ugh. there we go. Everybody's interested on why the door is open getting some fresh air it's actually uh, it's actually pretty nice out here karma's on the phone with the humane society so <laughs> come around this way so we don't disturb her phone call oh. 
We're actually stopping for breakfast. Yes, Shiloh is a big boy. So just to, just to clarify, um, the Savannah cat is a male. That's Mouser. Filmo is a three-year-old male bobcat. Yes, I see you in there. No, we're buying food for the humans. We're hungry. <laughs> uh, we have food on, um, on the van for the cats. Every other stop, we've been offering them food. Um, the only two that are interested in the food is um, the Savannah and um, Sassy Tom Tom. She is all about eating. Um, otherwise, the other two boys are not really into it. He's burying his. You can see down at the bottom how he's kind of burying. Um, I know some of you are asking um, where we're at. We actually can't tell you that just for our safety and the safety of the cats and transport. Thank you for everybody who donated. What I do know is that we will be back uh, Saturday morning, it looks like. It may actually be early Saturday morning in the middle of the night. <clears throat> so while I'm able to pay attention, uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. About our crazy setup they've been eating um, they've been eating beef but we also have chicken on board and then we're sharing a cooler with them so all of our drinks are in the meat cooler too <laughs> yeah so we've been um, there's four of us in the van and we are all taking turns uh, driving so every stop will switch so um, Maureen and I did the overnight. Uh, I did from eight to, we had a couple time changes in there. So I did till eight till about one in the morning. And then I did my best to stay awake for Maureen so that she could drive the other middle of the night shift. I did fall asleep for one hour of that because I could not keep my eyes open anymore, especially after driving for four and a half hours in the dark, I was really tired. But we're all trying to have a person stay up with the other ones so that it's they have company and it doesn't make the drive difficult. Hi, right, cutie pie. He's so fun. Meow. Tell him. We're doing okay. Yeah. We're doing okay. He, he, he appreciates your guys' visits. Hi, Becky. So if you want to learn about um, their individual stories, um, on our Facebook page and website, Carol has gone through what we know about each individual cat's situation, um, where the other sanctuary got them from, and that now they're closing down. All right, well, my breakfast has arrived, so I'm going to eat. Um, thank you guys for watching, and those of you who donated... We, <laughs> watch out. We are excited that the drive's going really well, although it's a lot of no sleep, but we'll worry about that when we get back. We'll sleep then. So thank you guys. We'll check in later and um, appreciate your support. <laughs>